Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. It's really important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and just leave the rest of it aside. That being said, if ever you do have any questions you would like to come and join us into a live streaming every single night from 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time all the way to midnight. So for three hours, we are answering questions every single night, seven days a week. We are here for you. So please do come in and join us if you do have any questions you would like to have some quick answers to. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the to the channel, please do click onto that subscribe button, that like button. And let's begin this reading. This is a weekly reading for the beautiful sign of Aries. It's a weekly love reading reading. So let's go and see what's going to be happening for you this week. So spirit, please do give me, give me those energies. Give me that vibe. Give me what is going on. Give me that information, please. I need to know what is going on for Aries in love this week. We are using two different decks um, and we are going to top it off with an Oracle deck right over here. So here we go. We have the uh, King of Swords who came out first, by the way. Let's continue and let's go see. Here we go. I'm just going to remove this deck here because it is a clarification. So we do have the King of Swords. I do have the Hierophant over here, followed up by the Queen of Pentacles. I also have the Devil, but in a reverse position, we have the... Um, Okay, I have the Five of Pentacles, I have the Ten of Swords, and I also have the Death card. What is going on, my beautiful friends? What is going on to Aries? My dear friend Aries, it's as if you've been hurt. You're hurting right now, my dear friend Aries. You're hurting. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of pain going on. But even though there's a lot of pain, you don't want to finish this. You don't want to end it. You want to continue on to this relationship. I feel like you've been looking around. I feel like when I mean looking around, you've been trying to find some advice. You've been trying to see what it is that you should do, which direction you should take. You kind of feel as though your partner knows more where they're going than where you're going. As if maybe they're planning a little something, but you don't quite know about it. So I kind of feel like there's a little bit of a trust um, issue going on here also. I feel even that the fighting, I kind of just feel like the overall vibes of what is going on here is there's trouble in love. For you, the love is still there, but we're not fighting anymore. We're just kind of living, we're being there, but we're a little bit distant. We don't even want to get into fights anymore. We don't find that it's really going to do anything, that it's going to modify anything within this relationship. Let me uh, take another deck out and, come and get some clarification here for you guys, my dear friend Aries. I'm sorry, I have flying cards. So what is going out for our dear friend Aries over here? What is going on? Okay, Aries. Please, Spirit, give me some information. Please, Spirit, do let me know what is going on for Aries. We need to know what is happening with Aries in love this week of September. Please clarify us onto the troubles that Aries are having. I have the Ten of Cups reverse. I have the King of Wands. So we don't want to move. We're making plans, but we're not moving. So your partner is making those plans, but they're not moving. The decision, there's a great decision that needs to be made within this relationship. And we can see it here with the Two of Swords. So the decision is there. It is there to be made. Um, we also have over here the Ten of Cups. Now the Ten of Cups is trying to, um, is trying to give us the information that... We want to continue, but we don't know if this is going to continue into the good. We don't know if this is going to continue. Um, we don't know how far this is going to continue. We want it to. But how far is it going to go? What are we going to be able to do? I feel like the lack. I feel like there's a, a lack into this relationship. I... And you have so much pain. You have so much pain, yet you love this person. You just want to stay with them. And they love you too because they're not gone. They're still there. If they didn't, they would be gone by now. 
but it's kind of like you have both just given up onto this relationship altogether but the good news is with a little bit of work I see that we do have the Ace of Swords, so I do see that there can be a new beginning. I do see that the efforts that we're putting over here about thinking, about trying to find different solutions, they are going to come to fruition. So I feel as though the choice, the choice is going to be made to continue this relationship. The choice is going to be to try to adopt, um, uh, to try to adopt different um different behaviors, try to understand one, one another, try to communicate, try to see where all of this relationship really is going. Because there is a lot of pain this week. This week I'm going to say it's all about decision time. It's about it's about figuring out what you want, what you need. I don't feel like there's any temptation. I don't feel like there's anybody um, anybody cheating or anything of the, of the sort. So if that is something that has bothered you, I can tell you that it is not uh, within the cards. Within the cards is really all about that that giving up onto a relationship. But if we do, if we do talk to each other and we say that we love each other, there is a possibility. There's a possibility for a renewal. What I'm getting here as the message is from the Oracle is you need to listen to your intuition. Your intuition's not going to lie to you. It's never going to lie to you. You need to listen listen to your intuition because there's a lot of abundance within this relationship. There's a lot of love, but the love is hidden. It's hidden behind all those layers. So please, listen to your intuition. Follow it. There's a lot of abundance in your life. May it be into your love life or in other avenues. But if you work onto the relationship, you will be able to discover what is truly there and how important I feel this truly is. Let's take a last um, let's take a last message out and see what we have here for you. Okay, and I do also have listening to I feel like this is something that has happened to you into the past, which is very, very interesting because I do have here the ancestors. I kind of feel like you've been stuck into this cycle into the past, into a past life. And so this time, if we want to break the cycle, we need to communicate. We need to see where all of this is going because you don't want this cycle to repeat itself again. You're already on cycle number two. So this, my dear friend, Aries does conclude your love reading for this week. So it's all about love. It's about decisions. It's about abundance. It's about listening to your intuition. And it's about knowing that you are on to this second cycle um, into your path with this type of relationship at this moment where it's going to be a decision of what you are going to decide. And this moment is going to decide if this is going to come back for you later on again. So follow your intuition. It's never going to steer you into the wrong direction. That, my dear friend Aries, does conclude your reading for this week. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it resonated. If you do have any questions, you would like to come and join us for the live reading, please do so. All of the information is right below um, into the YouTube description box, 9 till midnight. Please don't forget to subscribe. Have yourself a beautiful day. Thank you once again, and many blessings to you.